Hi, I'm Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos encouraging you and strengthening you. If they are, please share and like. So we are back in Isaiah 11, and today we are going to be reading verses 4 and 5. Yes, the only one that is perfect. And when he returns, hallelujah and amen. You know, he was the only one that defeated the enemy, the only one that knew what he had to do when he came here, the only one that knew he had to give us a choice because that's what he's all about. Choices. What choice do you choose? Do you choose to see that I truly came and laid my life down for my people to see the truth that I did come and I carried that cross. I took the beating for you because I love you. You're so precious to me. That's why I did it. And the enemy comes to lie, to make you think that Jesus is not sitting on the right hand side of his father. And he carried that cross. He took that beating for every one of our sins even the ones that haven't come to him yet he paid for every one of us so perfect in every way you know he even told his mom you know and his brothers when they came to see him he even said my mom and brothers and sisters the ones that are doing my father's will, my brothers and sisters. Can you imagine in the world, you know, in the worldly view of things, right? The pain that that might have felt to his mom and brothers, right? That he's like, no, no, you're not my mom and brother. The ones that are doing my father's will with me that are sitting with me now are the ones that are my, my brothers and sisters. And, you know, he knew what he had to do and he knew the enemy will send people to try to get him off track. So powerful, so powerful. But Jesus set his eyes like flint to that cross and every soul that realized that they're lost that he laid his life down so we can accept him as our Lord and Savior. And his father said, the only way to me is through my only begotten son. To accept him as your Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for what you did. Thank you, Jesus, for just saying, you know, I'm going to go down there and make things right. Because you have always been with your father. Always. So powerful, Jesus. The book is all about you. This, this book is so precious. Let your light shine in this world. Keep pushing back darkness. Open an eyes and ears like never seen before. You get all the glory and praise for who I am and who I'm becoming. Because it's all about you, Jesus, not about Benjamin. Let the people see the truth. Let them see. Just a glimpse of you is all it takes. Just one touch, that lady said. When she had, had bleeding for years in doctor, she spent all the money she had and no doctor could heal her. But her faith, Lord, that day, she said, just one touch of your garment will heal me of this bleeding. And you were surrounded by people. And you said, where I felt power leave me. And they were like, what do you mean? People are touching you. There, you were, there's people all around you, you know. But you knew that power that left you because that healing that she received just from that one touch of the bottom of your garment took care of that bleeding that she had. So powerful. Just the name of Jesus, demons tremble. That's how much power your name has. Pray in my name. Pray in my name, you say. If it lines up with my Father's will, it shall be done. Glory to God. Thank you for this message. Come and speak to your people. In Jesus Christ's name, already done. You open up eyes and ears and push them back darkness like never seen before. He has to let go of those that don't belong to him that he's lying to. That needs to come to your flock because you're the perfect shepherd. 
and we are your sheep once we accept you in Jesus Christ's name. And on this day, you are going to return. Glory to God. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. But anyway, we are going to start. Oh, yes. And check out www.hortonbrotherscrafts.com. All lowercase. I almost forgot about that. So powerful. We're starting in verse four. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With the justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will walk. He will strike the earth with rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Wow. Amen. Glory to God. Verse five. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness, the sash around his waist. Wow. So powerful. So powerful. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness, the sash around his waist. You know, when he returns, he's going to make things right. And he is still the perfect shepherd today. What he did over 2,000 years ago, laying his life down. Nothing we did to deserve it just because we are so precious to him. And he knew the only way, the only way to give us a choice. Because he doesn't force himself on us. That's the enemy. He gives us a choice. And the father said, the only way to me is through my only begotten son. Jesus Christ carried that cross. He took that beating. For those that only they can open up the eyes and ears to see the beauty of what he did. And once you accept him as your Lord and Savior. Welcome home. Welcome home. To the one that truly made each and every single one of us. Even if you do not believe in him. In the spirit in you. Maybe you're stirring right now. And you're sitting on that fence. And the enemy's like. Hey that's a bunch of crock. Listen. Trash. But the spirit in you. Is being drawn. To him. Because he adores you. He loves you. And most importantly, he came in the flesh. He carried the cross. He took that beating. He laid his life down for you to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Not for me to decide, for him to open up. I just want him to use this temple to bring glory and honor to his name. Because he's the one that's worthy to be famous. And it's so easy to get caught up in this life, in this world that we do live in. And we are part of it when we were born here. But our father in heaven's like, I'm making a way. I'm making a way, a choice. That you get to kill the freedom to make a choice to accept my son as your Lord and Savior or stay in the company of darkness. And when my son returns, he will crack the sky like a big slice of apple pie. Zechariah chapter 2, the last three verses in that book. Don't believe me, look it up for yourself. On that day, he will return. And we already read Matthew 25. He will separate the sheep from the goats. He knows the difference. You know, you know, even when he was here living, you know, to tell the Pharisees, you bunch of vipers. You can't even see the truth. The truth is that I did come here on the Father's will for His glory. That's why I came here. They were shocked 
so caught on the old way of Moses and Abraham that the new way that Jesus brought, all you have to do is accept him as your Lord and Savior and, you, and you're washed clean. How beautiful and amazing is that? He did away with the old covenant. And that's what they didn't want to see because, you know, we, we, we're we creatures of habit. We don't like change. But the change he did when he came so powerful, so much power in the blood of the lamb. So much power in his name that demons tremble like the guy on the boat when he stepped foot on that shore. Remember, he calmed that storm and he stepped there and that dude came running to him. Legions was in that man. And he said, oh, yes, son of the most high God. Please do not torture me. And Jesus said, what is your name? Legion. For there's many in this man. Hmm. You know, there was a, a herd and I shared this one once of over 2,000 pigs. They were like, just cast this into the pigs. And Jesus granted them that. But what's mind blowing about that? Even the disgusting pigs back then, because they couldn't eat them or anything. They were filthy animals, you know. <clears throat> the Hebrews, the Israelites, right? They were filthy. They couldn't eat them. Even they didn't want them. They ran off a cliff and drowned it into a lake. <laughs> but that kind of shares how much power he has. But that's why he did it. Because there's no one else that can. And he's what he did over 2,000 years ago is still working today. And he is calling people home like never seen before. He's opening up the world and opening eyes and ears and letting them see the truth that he laid his life down for us. But anyway, if that's you and he's opening your eyes and ears so you can see the beauty of him and you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Only he can do that. We're going to pray this prayer and we're going to go deeper with it. And we're going to pray that everybody, including myself, okay? We're going to go deeper with it. But anyway, dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for only sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did for me. You laid your life down so I can accept you as my Lord and Savior. I realize I was born from the time I was born here to right now all of the sins I have committed. I give to you. And in return, you accept all of my, my all of my faults, <laughs> all of my my shortcomings since I've been here, all of my failures, all of my weaknesses, and you wash me white as snow. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Not only that, Jesus, you're going to send me your Holy Spirit. Put a hunger in me, a thirst to just keep seeking you, keep looking to you. Yes, Jesus, thank you for what you did. Put a hunger in all of us watching this video that we just can't get enough of you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So whoever you are, welcome, brother or sister. Amen. Glory to God. And he is so patient. So if you're still sitting on that fence and that enemy's telling you, well, listen, you're a bunch of lies. Well, obviously, he's got your ear. Because if not, you wouldn't be listening. So maybe you just keep plugging in. When it's time. He's patient. He gives us a choice. Thank goodness he did. You know, so powerful. Nothing we did to deserve it. Just so much grace and love. But anyway, welcome brother or sister anyway for the rest of you please share and like it's not about benjamin it's all about his beautiful body what he did for us that blood every ounce of it that body that he laid down on that cross that day to make that pathway for us that beating amen glory to god and he is so perfect in every way never one sin the whole time he was here he started his ministry like when he was in his 30s and can you imagine ever sending one time? Beautiful, so powerful. And his name has power, the power of his blood. Amen. Glory to God. But anyway, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. You are the worthy of everything for what you did. Thank you, Jesus, for laying your life down for each and every single one of us. To see the beauty of everything out there you made. You put the stars in its place. You put the moon. Every tree, every ocean in this world, all the fish, every living creature, 
Everything here has your imprint in it. The truth that you made everything and every one of us, you made, whether we believe it or not. In Jesus Christ's name, thank you for what you did. Amen. Glory to God. But remember, stay strong. He sees you. He is for us. He'll never leave us or forsake us. So once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, the way of building that Holy Spirit by plugging in, reading his word, you know, keep doing things to build that spirit, reading his Bible. Maybe you start in the book of John. But anyway, download the Holy Bible U version if you don't have a Bible. And, uh, you know, there's so many Bibles, ESV, NIV, NLT, New King James, Old King James. And, uh, you know, get the one that speaks to you the most. Maybe that's why you download the Holy Bible U version and you can switch which one you want. So powerful. But anyway. You stay strong. He's got you. He sees you. He adores you. That's why he did what he did. Glory to God. Amen. Stay strong. He's got you. Amen.